Hey everyone, it's Laura and Trent. I'm sad he's gonna be leaving me. This is our last video together. I will miss you, little dude. Sorry for all the times I dropped you. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't drop him in this video. <laughs> um, I got a mystery box from Juvia's place. It was their holiday mystery box, and it was I think it was eighteen dollars, and then. It was like $6 shipping. So it was $24. Um, but before I show you that, I'll show you my lippy of the day. And I broke out the Bella Pierre um, lip palette that I had gotten from Ice Cream Beauty a few months ago. It's a 12 color pro matte lip palette. And it looks like this. Um, so you get the little pans. And then what I did is I scooped out the shades that I wanted and I mixed them in a little palette, the little painter's palette. I use this brush to like scoop it out and mix it. Um, and then it comes with a brush to apply it. But I use this fancy brush that I got from um, from Ulta. It's a It Cosmetics lip brush that just because it's cool. <laughs> so I mixed and you could probably tell by looking at them, but this bright pink one and then that one. So it is Muddy Rose and Aloha. So these two. It came up with a really pretty, like, rose color. This is what it looks like when it was mixed together. So I really liked it. Um, it's very creamy. You know, it's not super long-lasting because it's basically just a bullet lipstick that's been, you know, mushed <laughs> and shoved into this. But I wanted to use this because I haven't been using it very much. I've only used it, like, once or twice. Um, and I bought that fancy lip brush, which I just love. I'm easily amused, though, but... I just think that's the coolest thing. <laughs> so anyway, all right, so that's my lippy of the day. Let's get into this mystery box. Um, I believe it said it would have three items and one of them is a palette. So I've gotten a mystery box from them one other time and I actually ordered two and they were both the same. So I put one in a giveaway, but this time I only ordered one because I've got plenty of items. <laughs> I don't need to be ordering stuff just for giveaways. So. It comes in the box like this, and there is some packing material around the, um, the palette, which I'll show that last. And then we got two other items. So we have a lip gloss, glass lip gloss. It says it's electric. So let's see what that looks like. I do like their lip glosses. Ooh, that's pretty. It's shimmery gold. My rings keep spinning. It's because it's so cold. Whenever it's cold, you know, your hands shrink. This is, is this seal? Yeah, it is. Yep. There's plastic on here. Sorry. Come on. Mm. <laughs> Can't get it off. Oh, Lord. Hold on, guys. Okay, I got it finally. So it's just a really pretty gold shimmer. Ooh, goopy. I'm going to put it over this one. Ooh, like that. I'm going to wipe off the doe foot before I put it back in there. And it's still going to get some of the color on it, but I got most of it off. Just use a Kleenex. Cool. Okay. Tastes really good too. I just taste like fruity pebbles. <laughs> so that shade was called It's Electric. Then we've got a loose highlighter, ice loose highlighter. I have another one of their loose highlighters that I got in the last mystery box and I did like it. I'll probably end up putting this in a giveaway just because I have a lot of highlighters, but they're very nice. If you don't mind the loose ones, I know some people don't like it. And it does have a little like sticker over it. So it's a gold shimmer. Nice packaging. This would last forever. <laughs> it's a lot of highlighter in there. Ugh. If I can get it get it back on there. Okay. And they have a name. I don't think it has a shade name. No. Okay. Very cool packaging, like all, 
on Julia's place. I love their packaging. It's very, very cool. So we got that. And then last but not least, we got us a palette. And this is the Nubian 2. So let's see what that one looks like. What I like about their packaging, I mean, not just the looks, but how they package their materials. You saw it had the foam over it and then there's bubble wrap inside here too, inside the box around the palette. So they take good care of their products, which I like. And it's a, you know, a small company, well, smallish, um, not super expensive. Um, you can get it at Ulta and it's African-American owned brand, which I like. Um, this was made in, in China. Um, this was made in the U.S. It says it right on the side. Not sure about the lip gloss, but anyway. So this is what it looks like. This is a 12 color palette. The Nubian 2. And there's no mirror, which hers usually, or theirs usually don't have. Oh, that's pretty. Giant pans. That's kind of what they're known for. Look how big those pans are. Oh, that's beautiful. So the shades are Morocco, Madagascar, Sheba, Ya. Yeah. Jezebel, Zuri, Cleopatra, Nefertiti, Nairobi, Leila, Kenya, and Egypt. I don't think this is the other, the palette that I already have. I think so. Let me double check. I'm going to put you on pause. Sorry. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to make sure that that palette wasn't the one I had gotten before. So this is the Sahara and the one I just got. This is the one I had before, which I should have known. This is a nine pan versus a 12 pan. Yeah, so. Oh, well, this is also 12 pan, just a smaller pan. Anyway, <laughs> so this is the new one that I just got, the Nubian 2. And I've seen this one before. I just had never used it or swatched it. So, hmm, I have so many palettes. But this one is calling my name, this green one. It's called Egypt. That is so pretty. And I love the golds. Nairobi and then Nefertiti over here. And then this one called, yeah, all right. I'm keeping it, we're gonna swatch some. <laughs> so that's the one called, yeah, Y-A-A. -A. Oh, that's pretty. And then let's do this one called Sheba. I'm doing all the shimmers because I love shimmers. Um, I'm going to do that Egypt because it's just so pretty. Ooh, it looks like gold foil on, <laughs> on my finger. Oh, I like that. Okay. And then let's do Nairobi, that other gold one. Oh, that's soft. The other one's felt a little gritty, but this one is super soft. It's like a marigold color. And then I will do this Morocco, this orange matte. Oh, that's soft. Gonna swatch the best. Oh. Okay, <laughs> that is really, really pretty. I'm going to wipe off my hands because I'm dying to try that bright blue Cleopatra. I don't know what I'll do with it, but it's pretty. I guess you could do like the outer corner. And then I want to do that, um, this like purple Jezebel. Oh, I don't know why I wiped those off. Oh, well. Let's try that. Okay. Just drying my hand. Okay. So I'm going to try this Cleopatra, this one. Oh, it's soft. Oh. Now, see, I thought that was a matte, but it's a shimmer. Oh, my hand's still a little wet. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. All right, and then Jezebel. That one's definitely a matte. Oh, that's pretty too. And then I'm going to do this um, like champagne shimmer Zuri, which is that one right there. Let's see. Oh, 
Oh, love it. Okay, well, that's what I got for $18, well, plus shipping. So I got the palette. I got the really pretty lip gloss, which I love. And then I got the loose highlighter. So I'm happy with it. I'll put the highlighter in a giveaway, but I'll keep the, the palette and the lip gloss. And I think it's totally worth the $18. And it's just, I like supporting smaller brands like that. And I, I love, I've gotten a couple other palettes from Juvia's Place. I got this one, and then I got a purple one. So now I've got three. And I've had a few of their lippies before that usually people have sent me. And then I think I got a couple other glosses from the last time I ordered from one of their mystery boxes. So I've liked everything I've tried from them, basically, is what I'm saying. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you on my next video. Say bye-bye to Trent. He is going to be leaving me. Not sure where he's going to end up. You'll have to follow the hashtag, where is Trent Troll, to see where he ends up next. So we'll see you on my next one. Bye-bye.